Oh, uh, knuckleball! Hi guys, Coach Lockie here. Question for you. How much would your scores improve if you were to hit it 30 yards further with your driver? Or if you were to hit, say, your best drive on every single hole? Well, let's take this example from the guys at ShotScope. They've taken a 14 handicap performance average and put it up against their longest drive. So length of the hole on the left here, you've got approach distance after a playing average tee shot, and you've got the approach distance after their longest tee shot. You can see that the difference there is 24 yards when they've hit the fairway, and that means that the average proximity that you hit it to the hole is a lot closer if you were to hit it further up that hole. Further up the hole, hit it closer, less likely the three putt, maybe hole a few more putts, scores start to tumble. So how can we get you hitting your best drives on every hole? Well, let's talk about the number one thing with driver. In the comments down below, what is the most important thing with driver? Come on, in the comments. That's it, you got it. Strike is king. So many of my lessons come in to me and I ask them, have you ever practiced strike? Do you know where you've hit that on the face after they've hit a shot? Common answer, no. And if you're one of those people down that lens saying no, then first thing is to go and practice it. Simplest way to work out where you are striking it, get some athlete's foot spray. I know that can be quite expensive, so talcum powder or something as simple as a packet of wipes. Get some wipes, wet the face, and then you'll see where that ball comes off. I've lucky enough, I've got the launch monitor on the floor here, so let me just hit one and see. That one's come slightly off the toe and slightly high on the face, which is generally the optimum kind of strike location to get the best spin rates. And when you're doing your practice, after you've hit the shot, before you even look at the strike, try and guess where you've hit it on the face. The sound, the feel will be different on all parts of this face. And if you can get good at locating that strike point, you can then start about changing other things like face to path to try and get your ball flight to be straighter and gain those yards as well. If you're a big slicer or a big drawer of that golf ball, you're losing valuable liards on your golf shots to get that ball closer to the green. So make sure you're testing strike, analyzing strike, getting to the range, wet in the face, seeing where you hit it on the face, the next thing is, can you move it? If you can't move it, then that is a skill that you need to add to your armory. That last shot came off the toe. Let's try and hit the heel. And you need to work out your sentences that you say to yourself to try and move your strike location. Everyone's different. I play around with path to move strike. I play around with how far away I stand from the ball to move strike. I think about how I push in the ground to move strike. Each one of those isn't gonna work for every golfer. You're all different. Everyone's shapes and sizes are different. All your swings are different. You need to find the sentences that work best for you to move strike and find your optimal launches and spins and club head speeds to get the max out of your drives. So I've tried to hit the heel there. So that ball has started further down the left, it's curved more. And if you look at my strike, I've been able to move it now. It was eight millimeters toe on my first shot. It's now eight millimeters on the heel, both two millimeters high on the face. Hitting off the heel, the face aims more to the left, which means start direction will be left. And you also get some gear, which means that it will curve even more to the right. So what effect has that had on the ball flight? Look, speed, exactly the same. Spin, 300 revs more. Carry, 12 yards shorter. Peaking height a lot lower and launching a lot lower. Why is that? Well, strike was on exactly the same height, two millimeters high. If we look at how I've now delivered the club to get that strike to move, my angle of attack is halved of what it was on my first drive, four up to two up. So I hit more down and I hit more out to in to find the heel. My loft is a bit lower, but the difference between these two, my spin loft, is making that ball change in the launch angles and the spin rates 
making that carry go 12 yards further. So there's the importance of finding your sweet spot with your strike. I'm always trying to hit slightly toe and slightly high to get my optimum distances and optimum launches and spins. So next time you're at the range, go and practice strike. See what pattern you have with your strike. Is it scattered? Is it all in one dot, but not out the center? These are the things that can really help you improve your driving and lower those scores. Let me know in the comments down below, how much do you practice strike? Have you ever practiced strike? And if you're still struggling, maybe go and head for a lesson with your local pro to try and improve it. Hope that helps. See you all in the next video.